Hi guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and today we're diving right back into another exciting speed build of our city zoo. And in this episode, we'll be continuing our work on the desert dome and focusing on creating a beautiful spa habitat for the African crested porcupine that was added in the arid animal pack that dropped last week. Now first, I really wanted to add like this special viewing gallery, like a little area for our guests to relax in the shade while they're observing the African crested porcupines. Like it's obviously essential to have like a spot away from the scorching sunlight when being in a desert, right? Like a place where you can just admire these fascinating creatures. So to add some flair to the viewing gallery, I incorporated like these African beams from the base game to give like a natural touch to the viewing gallery and also like in front of the viewing gallery we also added like this fence made from the african beams that i originally also made i think it was for my african mini zoo actually which will just give like this opportunity for the guests to look over it and catch a glimpse of the beautiful african crested porcupines but the kids will probably have to uh, peek through the african beams instead because it will be too high for them to look over it and for extra safety i also added like this metal fence in front of the wooden one because well let's face it like the guests obviously don't want any prickly surprises right <laughs> So yeah, from this cozy viewing gallery, guests can enjoy the sight of a desert rock formation complete with in front of it, like this underground burrow for the porcupines to relax in and to get some privacy. And on the other side, we've set up like this barrel feeder enrichment item where they can grab like a quick bite if they are hungry. But obviously that's not all because we will also be installing a forge box feeder a bit further away in the habitat, ensuring our porcupines have a plenty of options to satisfy their hunger and you will be able to get like a glimpse of this area from the raised path that is like connected with the wooden bridge that we built in like the previous episode where we added like the sand cat to this desert dome so we did extend the bridge a little bit to ensure it like seamlessly integrates with like the surroundings and like the wooden beams and stuff because we really want to make it look nice and, and clean and pretty right as we always do <laughs> now let me tell you like working in sandbox mode for a change has been like an absolute delight the creative freedom it provides is so amazing compared to franchise mode like in franchise mode you're always paying attention to like the traversable area and ensuring like the accessibility for every area of the habitat but here in sandbox mode i can really let my imagination just run wild again like it's a breath of fresh air being able to add so many details again after playing franchise mode with so many any restrictions you need to keep in mind. Like sure, the habitat might be a bit smaller than the porcupine's usual requirements, but you know what? <laughs> it gives us like the freedom to create something truly unique. And I absolutely love that. And I'm really enjoying myself. And I can't even see like the requirements that they, they have these porcupines. So yeah, I'm just really enjoying myself here with the complete freedom that we have. So behind the forge box feeder, we've also created like this cozy little cave shelter for African pressed porcupines. Now I know they will most likely spend most of their time in the burrow, but this additional feature just adds some extra charm to the habitat in my opinion. Instead of like adding tons of rugs or billboards at the backside of the habitat. Oh, by the way, if you want to use the same billboard pictures that I am using, just like in the previous episode that I mentioned, you can download them from my Discord server. I got like a collection of all the billboards that I use for my zoos in there so feel free to check them out and download anything that you like with the link in the description of this video. Now water, I obviously had to incorporate it into the habitat but this time I decided to skip the terraforming tool like instead I went for like this large water throw and cleverly hit away like the edges with some rocks like I think it looks super nice like this and like the throw blends in really nicely with the surroundings and to make it even more realistic I also added like this little water VFX to create like at least the illusion of a little stream filling it up like it's all about the small little details right? So then it was time to actually add like a little backstage area for these animals. Like initially, 
I wanted to build like an extra structure behind the dome, but those glass walls on the sides prevented me from doing so. But this obviously was not a super big deal though. Like I improvised and created like this indoor backstage area within the desert dome itself. Like we also did with like the sand cat habitat, but this time I didn't want to hide it away completely. So inside you will find like a simple area with some hay beddings and like a chain link fence and some backstage props from the conservation pack and on the outside we decorated the walls with just some faux rugs and roots to blend it nicely in with the surroundings and i must say i'm pretty pleased with the final result but like one thing i do have to mention like the porcupines won't be able to enter the backstage area like at all no matter what i try they just can't navigate through it so thank goodness for sandbox mode like it's not a super big concern but seriously why do these tiny african crested porcupines have such a limited traversable area like it doesn't make any sense to me but it is what it is i guess so moving on to the last area of the habitat i initially wasn't sure what to do there but then i figured out that the african crested porcupines can actually enjoy the hot water taps like how did i even miss that in my overview video of the air and animal pack so yeah of course we are creating a little spa area for these adorable creatures like i didn't want to create like a full-on water area like i just said so i decided to install these hot water tabs pretty much on rocks and added like this little gutter to make it feel more realistic. Like this way we've created like a special spot within their habitat where they can relax in the hot water tap stream. I mean, who wouldn't love that, right? And by the way, I do have to mention like while building this habitat in Planet Zoo, I got a bunch of errors indicating constantly that certain enrichment items couldn't be <laughs> used in the habitat. But you know what? As soon as I placed the hot water taps and I hit the play button, and one of the porcupines just had it straight for it to enjoy the hot water stream. And it was such an adorable moment. So even though the traversable area heat map shows all the enrichment items in black, like indicating they can't be used, well, it doesn't seem to work that way. So I guess the heat map feature might be a little bit glitchy, right? I don't know. Do you guys experience the same right now in your game? Or has it always been like this in sandbox mode? I actually don't know. So with everything in place, it was time to fill up and decorate like the remaining bits of the habitat. So I just added some more African dry grass, my favorite palm trees, I always forget their name. It's like tip looking at me. <laughs> and some other dry bushes and plants to make everything look nice and pretty. Like I'm genuinely super happy with how this habitat has turned out. It it's definitely been like a super fun experience to build a habitat for these guys. But now I obviously can't wait to hear what you all think of our African crested porcupine enclosure. Drop your thoughts in the comments down below. I really would love to read them. And in case you missed it, I've started uploading a recent and older blueprints from City Zoo to the Steam Workshop. So I will be sharing a post on my community wall every time I upload something new. So you can download them and use them for your own zoos. Now I know some of you might be wondering if I will be uploading the big buildings like the Riviera Hall or like the Rabda House or the Elephant House. Well, I will do my best, but due to their size and complexity, it might not be possible for some of them. So I hope you will all understand, but don't worry, like eventually, eventually, I'll upload the entire zoo to the workshop. But that will just take time because we obviously want to ensure that it's completely finished and ready for you all to enjoy. So yeah, feel free to check out my Steam Workshop page with the link in the description of this video. There's like plenty of content out there. So definitely make sure to download whatever you want to use for your own zoos. Also from other zoos, not only City Zoo, but of course, like all the series that we're doing. Many things are uploaded to the Steam Workshop. So yeah, as we near the end of this pre-built video, I would say just sit back, relax, and enjoy the last cinematic shots at the end of this video. And let me know in the comments down below what you all think about our new habitat and the progress that we've made so far in our City Zoo Desert Dome. Of course, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed. Thank you all so much for watching and I really do hope to see you guys all in the next one. Bye guys!